Hi everybody, it's Carla from Casey Creates and I am here because I would like to offer my first challenge. Um, I have what I'd like to call my 300 subscribers thank you challenge. Every time I thought I would do a challenge um, and a giveaway, I'm thinking, okay, I'm at a nice round number and then it goes up and so I keep thinking, I've got to do a challenge and it, grateful it's a good problem um, the number kept going up until now I'm at 300 doing my very first giveaway but here's what I would love for you to ha um, help me with um, it's going to be um, a challenge more for the crafters that do the the lace doily shabby chic type things but if you watch my channel and you are not a crafter, this is still for you. So hang in there. I want to tell you the details. First, I'll let you know the winner will receive a handcrafted um, tote bag loaded with goodies and a $20 Visa gift card. So you can use it on whatever you'd like. Um, this is an international challenge. So please, ladies, no matter where you are, um, feel free to participate. Um, I'm going to leave my email address in the link below. You can just email me, let me know you'd like to participate, and I will send you my mailing address. Um, and um, the deadline will be April 15th. Now, from today's date, which is March 2nd, until April, I think today's the 3rd, actually. But whenever you see this video, it's from that date until April 15th. Um, if I, there's a great response, which I hope there is, I'm open to extending it, but I'm not going to ask for much because this is really just to say thank you. I don't want you to go to a lot of expense. Um, so in order to enter, first you must be a subscriber to my channel. And um, again, just send me um, an email and I will give you my mailing address. And then I just need a little information card that tells me your name, um, your favorite style of crafting, if it's steampunk or, or shabby chic, vintage, Victorian, uh, you know, country, and then two of your favorite colors. That way I can tailor the tote bag um, more to your liking. Um, so those are the requirements to enter. And then what I'd like for you to enter, because like I said, this type of crafting is somewhat new to me, um, I need to build up my supplies. So if you could send me two doilies and two stick pins, that would help me tremendously. I know it's gonna sound funny, but I don't even own a stick pin. And so I'm trying to um, learn how to create them and I would love if you could send me one or two beaded stick pins. So here's all you have to do. Get two doilies, layer them, put your stick pins through. Hopefully you can fold them and just slim, simply slip them into an envelope um, so you won't have to put it in a huge parcel of any kind um, and send it in the mail. And that would help my supply tremendously and then it'll enter you into the drawing for the winning prize. I hope that's enticing enough for you to want to participate. Those of you who don't craft or if you choose to do it this way, anybody can do one of two entries. The second one is one half to one yard of lace trim and you can just wrap it around a card of some sort or just gently fold it and then one piece of bling. And bling can be a broken piece from a bracelet, it can be an earring, it can be anything you want. Um, again, I'm just looking to build up my supply of embellishments and doilies. And I don't know if you noticed in my other video I was saying how hard it's been for me to find unique doilies. So, um, not to be too picky, but I have the way more than I need of the yarn doilies and the wool doilies and I'm trying to go for thinner doilies right now so um, you know rectangle ones would be great to help with my lace books but any round size you know um, I do like the ones that have fabric in the middle um, and I do like the ones that have more of the delicate um, thread and tatting is my favorite. 
but all that to say, I don't want to sound too terribly picky. I'll just be thrilled if you decide to participate. So I will put the details in the link below in case I forgot anything. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you, thank you for all your kind um, comments. And um, for those of you who don't know, I'm, I'm an art teacher. I've taught pottery for many years and my fairy house video gets tons of views. And for those of you who come to my channel for the clay, um, hang in there because I'm not giving up my clay by any means. And I'll be doing a fairy house video again soon. So um, thank you for participating in my challenge. Thank you for watching. Come back again soon. And thank you for inspiring me with all of your beautiful work. I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.